We are going to remain firm and we are not going to relent. Ruto, unatuchezea kama wabunge. Nilikuona juu ya gari yako. Unasema umeachilia pesa yote ya elimu. Hakuna mkenya ambaye anafaa mtoto anafaa kufukuzwa kutoka shule. Mheshimiwa makao wamepewa milioni 30. Sisi wametupea kila mtu 30 million. The budget we have given for bursaries and the forms which are distributing. Mheshimiwa makao anahitaji karibu million 60. We want the total amount of bursaries which we have allocated as a parliament and we don't want anything less. You are setting us against the public. Nitapea mtoto wa nani na niache wa nani? Yeah. Tuache mchezo bana. Kwa hivyo hii wananchi kimeumana. Kimefanya kime nini? Kimefanya nini? Kime Lakini niko na amani. Kama kuna nyota imetoka, kama kuna sauti ya Mwenyezi Mungu imeanza kutambaa Kenya mzima, inatangaza ya kwamba mkombozi wa inji hii ni mheshimiwa Dr. Steven Kalonzo Mstaka asubuhi mchana uchao. Nataka niseme hivi. Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Mshoka ukiwa pali huko, sauti ya mkenya yote inakuangalia. You are the face of the struggle to redeem Kenya from this stupid economy. Mungu awabariki. Alafu wanatuambia wanajenga nyumba affordable. Ile nyumba wanadanganya mkenya ya kawaida ni affordable ni nyumba ya milioni ine. Mama Mboga atatoa milioni ine wapi? Bwana Ruto. Ukiwa na serikali yako. Ya pili. Mheshimiwa Ruto. Uliandaa wa Kenya na kina mama na, wa, na vijana. Mama mboga analia. Boda boda analia. Maisha imeenda juu. Mafuta imefika. Mia tatu. Dola inaelekea eh, shilingi mia moja sabini. When you are campaigning, you promise Kenyans that you are going to deal with the issue of cost of living. Na ukatuambia bottom up kumbe wa Kenya tu kuelewa ulikuwa unatoa unga shilingi ya thamanini upeleke sabini, upeleke mia moja, upeleke mpaka mia mbili. That is what is bottom up. So we will to tell you. Wacha kuzomea vijana. Wacha kukasirika na vijana wakikuzomea. Nataka kukuambia utazomewa Kenya hii kwa uongo yako. Eshimu mahakama wamesema housing levy is unconstitutional. Ati unasema unaenda kukaa na kome, mkae chini. I want to challenge you kome. Tell Kenyans what you discuss with the president. Yes. Muchana tuelewane vile tutakaa na nyinyi. Wa Kenya wanaumia makao amenunua basi hapa lakini kuna watoto ambao lazima watafutie basari hapa shule ili wasome maisha imekuwa ngumu kwa mkenya yeyote mumetoa insurance ya police na hiyo itasema hata kama bwana hosi yesu kwa hapo they are suffering the way kenyans are suffering and kenyans we need a honest conversation on how to make sure sakayo hiyo mti umepanda lazima tuikate uteremke chini hello niseme nisiseme sisi kama wabunge na sisi kama viongozi ambao tunaheshimu katiba na sheria ya Kenya 
tutakuambia ukweli mchana uchao usiku ukiamuka utapata tukisema ukweli na ile shida iko na hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza wakilala wanaota vile watatoa shilingi kwa mfuko yako waweke kwa mfuko yao wakakule na tutakubali inji ambayo inapelekwa kwa shida kwa sababu ya tumbo ya wachache tumbo crats kwa hivyo kama wakenya nataka niwaambie hivi mujiandae kwa sababu 2027 it will be against the government of the day and the people of Kenya and we must make a decision as early as 2024 they must go home wapende wasipende Mheshimiwa Rais William Samoi Ruto Nataka nikuulize kwa heshima mchana Uliandaa wa Kenya ya kwamba ukipewa mamlaka utaheshimu vitengo zile zingine za serikali kama mahakama na utaheshimu uamuzi yoyote wa mahakama leo nimekusikiza ukiwa meru na najua ume, da, u, uko na hasira kwa sababu jana wale vijana ulidanganya walikuzomea na uongo au kai miaka mingi Uongo wako umeanza kufika kikomo kwa wakenya. Mahakama imesema na ilikuambia nikiwa mazishi kule pande ya kalama ya kwamba ile kodi unatoza wa Kenya ya housing levy is unconstitutional and it will remain unconstitutional in a diplomatic dip- in a democratic country called Kenya kwa hivyo wacha kujipiga kifua ukisema utaendelea Mi nataka kutangazia waajiri wa wote wa Kenya nikiwa hapa mavoko hakuna kutoza hiyo ushuru is unconstitutional tafuta pesa mahali pengine ujenge nyumba zako ni aibu na ni aibu mjana Chifu wa maboko hapa anakatwa housing levy. Chifu anatokanga kwa ile area ana, ameajiriwa. Alijenga nyumba, nyumba ya kuishi miaka nenda miaka rudi. Unamkata hiyo mpesa aende kukaa kwa hiyo nyumba na itamsaidia na nini? Na iko kamati pale bunge imeongezwa na mheshimiwa ngenu. Nimekuona leo ukisema Mnaendelea kufanya public participation. Stop wasting public money. Stop wasting public money as a committee. Na nataka commissioner. Hao wabunge wana mangamanga wakisema ati wanaenda kufanya public participation There's something which is unconstitutional. We are going to charge them. Tuelewa nini? Hii Kenya ni asisi wote tukiwa milio, milioni milioni a, 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 mbili atuwezi kuwa Kenya ya wachache wanajipiga kifua so the committee led by mheshimiwa ngeno stop the exercise stop the nonsense the government of the day you have a responsibility to protect our young girls and women to make sure that the killing which is happening of a country of the young women and the young girls is stopped with immediate effect now those idiots coming from all over the world to come and kill our girls must be sent back to their home waani aliwao na watu nasikia walitoka nigeria we mwenyewe ndio unatuweka kwa hii shida wakati unatangaza kenya is a free visa country Every Tom and Dick and Harry, any terrorist, any killer can come and reside in Kenya without you in a government knowing who is in Kenya. Yes. 
Lazima tuelewane. Lazima tuelewane. And it is very unfair. Extremely unfair. The government is elected to protect Kenyans. But you, you are elected to tax Kenyans to sleep, kuzomea vijana, na kuwatoa ushuru. You must go. Ruta must go. Ruta must go. Atufiji. Asikia, tukiongea, unatutisha tisha. Kujia mule mchana. Kama ni kuenda mbinguni, raena saanane, na hawa tu watakuja kunizika.